Hi, my name is Mark Belage. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make a career switch and uh, career change, uh, however way you want to describe it. Sometimes opportunities come up where you can make a career change, and uh, this may be one of those times. Um, you will probably go through uh, three to five career changes in your in your lifetime, and uh, stats uh, suggest that. Uh, the average Canadian will go through 15 different jobs over the course of time. So uh, this uh, session will cover uh, some tips on uh, how to make a career switch and how to make a career change. So number one is evaluate your current role, or if you don't have a role, uh, look at uh, what areas of your jobs you were satisfied with uh, and uh, think about the areas that you may be satisfied with uh, moving forward. Number two, make a list of what you want in your career. Um, what, what, what would be your perfect job or career? Um, when I did this uh, myself uh, about 15 years ago or so before I started torontojobs.ca, uh, I had uh, made a list of about 60 items and, uh, uh, on my list. And that ranged everything from uh, uh, location, uh, what I wanted to wear, types of people I wanted to work with, and so on. So make a list of that because that's if you're really pivoting in your career and this might be that opportunity to do that, this is the time to make that list. You have some time, think about where you want to go and what you like to do. Uh, number three, think about your skills and interest levels and hobbies and you know what changed over the last you know year, what changed over the last five years. Really think about those different um, areas that uh, skills that you liked, uh, hobbies that you were interested in, because that may direct you in a different direction. And one of those directions may also be to open up your own business, uh, become an entrepreneur. And that's a, a definitely a different career change, but one that can be rewarding for you, uh, depending on the person. Um, number four is update your resume. Make sure that your resume is updated and, and it speaks towards that new career, whatever that new career may be. Uh, number five, uh, change your resume to highlight skills and experience relevant to the direction you want to go. So uh, if you want to really pivot, you know, make sure that your the words and, and the information that you're using is relevant to that position. Uh, consider and brainstorm alternative careers. Uh, you may think, hey, you know what, there's only one type of career. Uh, you know, there's really opportunities for you to do many different types of careers. And uh, this may be one of those uh, opportunities to really get into the, all the different uh, areas that are out there. So uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, methods that I always think about is um, uh, SIC or NAICS codes, and and those are uh, codes that you would find on products. And uh, so if you think of a UPC code, uh, SIC codes, SIC codes are those codes just translated into industry. So really think about you know the, those different. Uh, alternative careers that you might be uh, interested in. Take a look at some postings online. Visit our website at torontojobs.ca. Check out some of the postings that we have, some of the postings that companies look to fill or, or that might be available uh, in your area. So um, definitely speak with people in the area that you want to go into. You know, interview them, talk to them, maybe set up a, f a virtual phone call, um, maybe, uh, you know, connect with them on the phone. Whatever it is, but you know, make sure to ask them some questions, like very open-ended questions. You know, how did they get there? What 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 were the areas that they uh, what were the challenges that they experienced over time? You know, really get into those areas. Uh, number nine, narrow down your list as much as possible. So don't have a very broad cross section of of areas that you want to be in. Really focus in on the areas that you really want to get into once you've done your research. Uh, number 10, set your goals. Uh, what do you want to achieve in that new area? Where, where do you want to be in a year, in two years, five years? Uh, you know, that really helps you focus your career and, and where that might go. Uh, number 11, figure out what it's going to take to get to where you want to go. Perhaps you have to take a, a new degree. Perhaps you have to do some training. Uh, maybe you have to do some YouTube uh, learning, online learning, e-learning, whatever it is. Um, you know, understand what it's going to take. Maybe there's a degree or diploma or certificate that you have, that you need in order to meet the the um, eligibility of where you want to be. Um, next one is um, you know just make the switch at the right time. Like don't just switch right away. Uh, transition slowly if you have that if you have that option. Um, you know, the last thing you want to do, especially when times might be a bit more challenging, is to just redirect and you don't know what's what that 
career is or, or what that opportunity is all about. So, you know, make sure to make the switch slowly, make sure to cautiously uh, have researched everything that you need to know, uh, ask the questions and that, you know, once you do make that switch to just slowly transition into it. Now it could mean taking a part-time job. It could mean volunteering, which is my next point. It could be me, it could be a, um, an opportunity to uh, move into a full-time role. It, it's hard to know, but just really slowly transition to it, especially when you're trying to pivot in your career. Um, I would also say um, that, uh, you know, volunteering, I, I mentioned already, volunteering is a great way just to find out what an industry is all about, what, it's, uh, what might be the pros and cons, what you might like and not like. And then uh, my final point is, um, you know, recruiters aren't the best path to make a career change. Um, you know, recruiters tend to find uh, opportunities for people moving from a circle to a circle or square to a square. Um, they're not usually the best to say, hey, you know what, I, I'm an accountant, I want to go into sales. Or I'm a, an IT professional, I want to go into um, uh, marketing. Uh, it, it's not the best way of, of uh, making that move typically. So recruiters that is. So, um, so if you, but if you, but if you're going to try recruiters to help you, just be very, very clear as to what you are looking for. And they will be more likely to help you if you come to them with a list, you know, here's what I'm really looking for. I've done all the research. This is what I want. Cause then they can be a proponent for you uh, to, um, to, to their clients to let them know. So, um, so in conclusion, chances are you will make a career change at some point in your life. Uh, make sure to think it through, ask questions, have an open mind. And, uh, you know, there's definitely opportunities there to make a career change, especially in this kind of environment. Uh, so again, my name is Mark Blaish. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. How torontojobs.ca can help you out if you are looking for a new position, feel free to check out our website. You can visit our site at, at torontojobs.ca. You can search and apply to positions. You can post your resume as well. Uh, great opportunity for you to, to uh, find out what opportunities there are there. You can sign up to our newsletters as well. Um, you can also check out our my book uh, called Tales from the Recruiter, uh, which is on uh, at the website talesfromtherecruiter.ca. And uh, we do also provide one-on-one -on -one coaching if you're interested uh, as well. So, you know, check us out on, on social media. Check us out on, on YouTube as well. We have a channel there. You can check out some videos. Uh, and find out some topics that you might be interested in and wish you the best in your job search. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn if you'd like and um, hope to talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Again, Mark Palais, torontojobs.ca signing off. Thank you.